Hello, this is Professor Steve Anderson. The birthday problem, it is referred to in probability classes, is quite simple. How many people would you have to have in a room before you'd feel comfortable saying there's a good chance of matching birthdays? Now, I'm not talking about the year. I'm just talking about the month and the day. For example, mine is October 23rd. Maybe there's somebody in this class with a birthday October 23rd. Maybe there isn't. But as I added more and more people to that question, then there would be more and more ways for me to match. When I add a second or third or fourth person, for example, they have more ways to match than the first few people. So I repeat my question. How many people would you have to have in a room before you felt comfortable, let's say a probability of a half or better, saying that there was going to be a match. Many people would use their intuition and assume, because there's around 360 birthdays, that it would take around 180 people in the room before you'd feel comfortable saying there's half a chance of matching a birthday. Well, let's use this simple simulator to draw birthdays at random from January 1st through December 31st. I guess they did not account for leap year. Oh, well, I take it back. They did. It was a February 29th even. So there's 366 birthdays. So let's draw our first birthday. Of course, the first person has no one to match with, so there's no match yet. Let's draw a second person. They didn't match. Third fourth, fifth, still no matches, sixth, seventh, eighth, still no matches, ninth, tenth, eleventh, no matches, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, still no matches. But let's discover something that you might not have thought about before. The sixteenth person now has 15 dates they can match with, not just one. So let's continue drawing. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and all of a sudden I see 22 matches with one other person I've already picked. So in this very unintuitive situation, it only took 22 people before I got my match. You might think, well, that was just accidental. You can flip a coin and get three or four heads in a row, and no one would be surprised. Let's try this again. I'll start over, and I'll start drawing birthdays again. Of course, one has no one to match. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. This time it took significantly more people to get that first match. It took 53. Now we could be recording these as we went and studying them later. For now, let's just start over and try again. 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Isn't that amazing? 6 in, and we almost accidentally, nothing's an accident, we matched a birthday. Let's start over again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, oops, 30. 
it seems to me that we're not getting anywhere near 180. It seems to me that once we get into the 20s and 30s, we're starting to see pretty common that we match up with somebody before us. Let's try one more time. Start over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, even going as high as 48, I'm still not even at 50, and I've already matched, even though there's 366 birthdays to try to match throughout the year. I wonder why it takes so few people before the probability is reasonably decent for me to get a match. The next video will analyze more formally how we'd actually compute the probability of a match, or more to the point, we'll compute the probability you don't match. The idea is this. If the probability of not matching goes ridiculously low, then the complement matching must be approaching 1. So look out for the next video on the birthday problem.